Hello everybody and welcome back to the Excessive Gaming Channel and Farm Simulator 2017. This is our Let's Play series here on the Old Stream Farm and today we are up to episode number 44. So if you could quickly drop us a like on this video it would be much appreciated. And of course if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. So let's jump into today. What are we doing? Episode 44, yeah, we are going to be doing some planting today, some seeding. Reason for this is because we have, of course, just finished the ploughing of field uh, number six. We've got that uh, joined up with field seven that we've just, in the previous episode, we ploughed, just uh, purchased and joined together. Uh, we've got, uh, well, we're in the Fent Favourite 824, we've got the Verdestad Rapid A600, is it? Do you know, I can't think now, is it the A600? A600S, is it? No, it's the Verdestad Rapid. I'm pretty sure it is the A600S. It is definitely Verdestad and it is definitely the Rapid. Now this will cultivate as well as uh, do the seeding, so with no previous cultivation required. So where we've had the uh, corn on here, it will remove all of that and of course plant the uh, new crop in for us. <coughs> Excuse me. So, we got, once we're lined up, all we need to do is lower it down and turn it on. I'm going to put the cruise control on and put the little arm out just so that we know where we're going on the way back. So, yeah, today, episode 44, we're rapidly coming towards the end of the series another six episodes to go turn around there if we can, no, I knew that would happen lift that and turn it off I left it too late to turn of course just uh, back that up to the edge of the field so, lower it down, turn it on, and off we go again. Put the opposite side out this time for the little ridge maker. Of course, if you didn't know about the ridge maker, it is quite simple. It's used for making a marker, a ridge, as to where you need to be heading next. To, of course, keep the nose of the tractor in line with that ridge maker. Just keep the nose of the tractor in the ridge, and you'll be pretty much equal as to uh, where you, the previous row was. A bit difficult to see on this uh, field. Be able to see it better when we uh, go over that ploughed section. Yeah, keep the nose of the tractor in the ridge maker, on the actual ridge, and you'll be perfectly in line when you go over and head back up the other row to the previous row. 
think we've uh, covered this previously in a tutorial, so... Yeah, we are of course planting soybeans on this field. The reason being is because it is a uh, one of the new crops in Farm Simulator 2017 compared to 15, and uh, it is a re good, reasonable price, better than your wheat and. Uh, wheats and barleys etc. Ok so what we're going to do, rather than uh, heading up and down there, we're just going to run a ring around the field because this is quite tricky. Ok, I'm going to put that ridge maker out. So normally you would plant the field, middle of the field first and then do all the headlands afterwards. But with those trees there it's a little bit tricky. Again, not to worry if we miss a little bit, like we have just there. make it down on the corners of course signals where that corner is as you can see which makers down Ridge, we follow that with the nose eye tractor. That's creating the line on the left, ready for the next go round. Make sure we get that uh, perfect screenshot. So, of course, once you've gone over that uh, ploughed section of the field you really don't notice that it's uh, it's one field that's been joined together certainly you would never know that it's one field that's been joined together as well have a nice look at the end
if of course uh, you are used to knowing the rough whips of the tractors and working widths etc you can of course not bother with that bridge maker at all you know uh, roughly where you're heading along comes the practice of course there's been a few times that I've missed a few bits and pieces sometimes the turn circle on the tractors is not very good You see there, I'm just hitting it. Or overlap slightly. It's quite difficult on this ground where it looks like it's still uh, planted. Turning circle on the vent is the best. It's probably best that we do use that ridge maker in, on this occasion. I say that ridge maker is quite helpful. I think the uh, turning circle of the fence is very good. Not to worry, not to worry, we can of course soon sort the problem out. Sometimes it takes us a little bit longer to do, but uh, in line. Not to worry, as long as the job is getting done and the plow uh, sorry the planting gets finished. the world. So if you'll, uh, hopefully you won't be able to hear it but I think you may pick up the uh, button clicking on the controller. Hopefully it's not too noticeable. progress now. We are not about half the way through our new big field.
course when you do put that ridge maker out to make sure you put the right side out otherwise it will uh, eat those crops I made that mistake once before I Real didn't realise what I was doing and uh, yeah, lost uh, an entire row of the actual crop that we just uh, planted of course was quite annoying. Do bear that in mind when you do use the ridge maker. Again on a a uh, wheat field for example it's much easier to gauge where you are heading anyway unless you've got that stubble left over and the sunflowers and uh, corn of course stubble left over that's visible which makes it a little bit harder of course so we've got a good two thirds of the way through now So yeah, if of course uh, <coughs> you are enjoying today's video, remember to hit that like button. Remember to hit that subscribe button if you're new. Don't forget to share the video with family and friends of course. And if you haven't already done so, remember to cast your vote on the next map that we play of course. That video, or that vote is on video 35. Episode 35. And there's five choices there. It's interesting which way the vote is going already. Uh, like I say, we get the results as they're coming in. Don't want to spoil it, of course. It's pretty conclusive already. So if you want to help that decision along, then uh, head on over to episode 35. Cast your vote for the next map that we're going to play. the wrong buttons now. Okay, we've just shut the engine off. Let's start again. Right, lower and turn on. Off we go. It does happen, so I get confused with buttons, etc. Us especially, because we do play, uh, of course, the Xbox. We also play the PC version. It's quite confusing as to the buttons. Once you get back into a rhythm of things, you are pretty sorted.
like it's going to be two more rows to do. Because we've got two lines in between there. Straightforward, really. And that is it. Feel done, of course. So of course, no need for that ridge maker. So like I say, this is the last couple of rows. once again. So yeah, that is field number six, all done and planted. All within a good reasonable time as well. In too much seed in the process. So, yeah, you're going to get the odd little bits and pieces that we've missed, which is not the end of the world. So, we can fold all that up now. And as we just zoom out, as you can see, that is one big field. So, Let's uh, get back into the farm. We can, of course, take this little back road now. A bit bumpy, but we can, of course, take it. So, yeah, there we go. So, that is. Field uh, number six all planted up. Like so. So, hopefully, like I say, you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, remember to drop us a like. And of course, if you are new to our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. But there we go hopefully you have enjoyed thank you very much for watching today and we shall see you in the next one bye for now